Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. If you are new here, I am so happy to have you for class. Today we are going to do a 30 minute chill vinyasa, which was a highly requested class when I asked you on Instagram for classes this month, so I hope you love it. This is perfect for a rest day, a warm up before a more intense workout or a cool down after a more intense workout. It will be a little bit more slow flow style and just such a feel good, well-rounded flow for the whole body. I'm sitting up on a block. If you want one, you can grab one. We're gonna start seated. And if you like a strap as well in your practice, feel free to grab that. We're going to start with hands on the thighs, palms face down, close the eyes, the shoulders, draw up towards the ears, and then slide them gently down the back. Closing the eyes as a way to shut out the outside world and tune in to the inside world. How are you feeling? What's going on in the mind, in the body, in the breath? And knowing that whatever sensation is coming up, whatever feeling, emotion, it is temporary. It will be here and then it will be gone. And know that this class will shift energy, feelings, sensations in the body. So instead of trying to achieve or hold on to any one sensation or feeling, can you simply be present? Can you show up for whatever that is as it passes through? And then when it's ready to go, let it go without attachment. Easier said than done, but a good intention to have anytime we step onto the mat. Start to deepen your breath. Knowing that the breath doesn't need to be a certain count, feel a certain way. Simply making it intentional and conscious. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale together, let it go. And then slide the hands even closer towards the knees. Palms will grip the knee joints. On your next inhale, we'll puff the heart forward, finding a seated cow. Draw the shoulders onto the back body. Maybe drop the head back a tiny bit. Eyes can stay closed or open. And then in your breath out, we'll round in, find a seated cat, dropping the chin towards the chest, rounding through the back body, big expansion. Inhale, puff the heart forward. Exhale, push back. Couple more like that. Move on your own, your own cadence of breath. Doesn't have to mirror me. Make this feel good for your body. What do you need in this moment? Maybe that means you slow it down. Maybe that means you speed it up. Maybe that means you shift the shape. Last full round. And then we'll bring the spine back up to neutral. Keep the hands where they are. Keep the eyes closed or close them if they aren't already. Drop the chin towards the chest and roll your right ear to your right shoulder and then switch. Sitting up tall here, chest stays broad. That will give you the deepest stretch in the upper traps, the neck muscles, maybe even down into the back, the rhomboids. You know, it feels so good in my body, especially for those of us that look at a phone a lot or a computer. One more. And then take your chin towards your chest. 
Take the hands behind the back of the head, interlacing the fingers, and then just the weight of the hands, let that draw the chin even closer towards the chest. Sit up extra tall here, rolling the shoulders back. And then next inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, blink the eyes open as you take the neck back to neutral. We'll take the right hand down by the right side, reach left arm by the ear, and then switch it out. Left hand goes down, a big side body stretch. One of my favorites, always feels so good. Think about lengthening from your hip bone all the way to your fingertips. One more, each side. This time we'll find a twist over to the right, left hand to the right thigh, right hand behind you, roll the right shoulder back, and then come through center, switch. Right hand, left thigh, left hand behind you, twist. Come back through center and switch. Kind of like a rolling twist, couple times on your own. Reaching the arms up in between, starting to work into the shoulders a bit. We'll do one more each side. Also feels so good. That's going to be the theme of class today. Just feel good movement. Beautiful. Coming back through center and then dropping the hands down through the heart. Grab your block. Place it off to the side for now. We're gonna start in a puppy pose, so you could keep the block if you're feeling a little bit tighter. Knees are gonna go about hips width, and then reach the fingers forward so you send the hip bones back, keeping the hips over the knees, and then drop the torso towards the floor. Such a big stretch for underneath the arms. If you want to modify with the block, you can place it on any setting underneath the forehead, maybe underneath the chest, totally up to you. Enjoying this little heart opener. One more deep breath in, deep breath out. And then your next inhale, gaze forward towards your fingers. On your exhale, thread your right arm underneath you. Come onto your right shoulder and the right side of your face. Thinking about twisting from your shoulders here, so rolling the left shoulder back slightly. You can either keep the left hand long or reach it all the way up and around to your right hip crease. Now think about rolling your left shoulder back, opening through the chest and the front of the shoulder. Breathing in, breathing out. And then release left hand back down, come onto your fingertips. And then on your inhale, we'll reach the right arm all the way up, keeping the hips back, breathing in, breathing out. Next inhale, we're going to reach both fingers up, standing up on the knees, and then sweep the arms all the way behind us, full range of motion in the shoulders, hands come to the low back for a camel. Think about lifting out of the waist, so kind of the head reaches up to, towards the sky. And then gently leaning back, super gentle for this first one on your breath out. Inhale, spine will come back up to neutral. Exhale to circle the hands back down. Find your puppy pose, sending the fingers forward, hips stay high. Breathing in, breathing out. Next inhale, gaze forward. On your exhale, find your right or your left arm out there underneath. Come onto your left shoulder. Keep reaching the right fingers forward. Maybe right arm comes all the way up and around into your left hip crease. Hips stay high here. And then gently release. Come all the way down onto your right fingertips. On your inhale, open left arm to the left. Staying for the breath out. And then next inhale, we'll sweep all the way up to stand on the knees once again. Full range of motion in the shoulders. Reach the fingers back, opening through the chest. And then hands to the low back. Inhale to lift, crown of the head to the sky. Exhale to lean back, pulling your shoulders onto the back body, squeezing the elbows in. Inhale will take you back up, spine to neutral. Exhale to plant the hands, come on to the fingertips so palms are lifted. 
and then around the back body tuck the chin in towards the chest be mindful here that your spine it feels good on your next inhale drop the palms tuck the toes on your exhale downward facing dog is where we meet you can pedal out the feet a few times here maybe shake the head out my hamstrings feel very tight I just went on a little camping trip and did a ton of hiking so my legs are sore in a good way that's a very different movement from what i'm used to so calves especially are feeling it beautiful all right we will come to a still place really push into your hands and then inhale lift the right leg to the sky Exhale to bend your right knee, stack your right hip on top of your left. Think about pulling your right knee all the way up to the sky. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale to keep the leg open, open or the hip open rather, straighten the right leg. On your exhale, we're going to step right foot all the way outside of the right hand, come down onto your left knee. Untuck the back toes, inhale to press the hips forward, opening through the front of the left leg, the inside of the right leg for your lizard. Stay for the breath out. On your next inhale, think about reaching the crown of the head forward even more. On your exhale, let's crawl the hands back, half splits, keeping the hands on the inside of the right foot. Inhale to crawl yourself forward, planting the hands, pushing the hips forward, opening. Exhale to crawl yourself back, Right toes, curl up, and again. So finding this dynamic movement to start to open the legs. Last one. All right, let's hold it in this half split. So right knee is softly bent, right toes are curling back towards the knee joint. Let's find a halfway lift. Think about reaching the crown of the head forward, thinking about taking the tailbone high as well. And then you can walk the hands forward if that feels pretty good. Try to drop the torso on the inside of the right thigh. And the shoulders relax, let the head relax. Breathing into this opening in the back side of the right leg. Breathing in, breathing out. Next inhale, come all the way forward, planting the right foot. Tuck the toes, exhale here. Inhale to lift the left knee and then take it back. Open hip, three-legged down dog, a couple big circles in your right knee, right hip. And then switch the direction of those circles. And then eventually we'll step the right foot in between the hands this time. Left knee will land. We'll find a full low lunge now. Back toes stay tucked under. Inhale to reach the arms up to the sky. Press the hips forward. On your exhale, stay. Inhale here, think about reaching up. On your exhale, hands come through your heart. Twist over to the right. So hands come up to the heart center. Roll your right shoulder onto the back body. Back toes are tucked for stability. Beautiful, breathing in, breathing out. One more like that, inhale, exhale. Inhale, come back through center. On your exhale, plant your hands. This time, push the hips back. Keep the right leg in line with the right hip. Breathe in, think about halfway lift. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Maybe you can get a little bit deeper this time. Think about reaching the crown of the head forward. One more breath in, breath out. Next, inhale, find a halfway lift. Keep the left hand planted. You can always grab your block and then reach your right arm to the sky, finding a twist. Breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, lean back, 
Beautiful. Stay there and then start to take some shoulder circles with the right arm. Right toes stay flexed. And then switch. Beautiful. And then release the right hand down. We'll crawl it forward. Plant the hands. Lift the left knee. Step it back to a high plank this time. Shift forward and then lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes when you arrive. Hands stay underneath the shoulders. Next, inhale, cobra. Push into the feet. Think about lifting up through the front of the body. And then exhale to lower. Two more like that. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Last one, inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. Inhale to tuck the toes under, press up. High plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, big breath in. Big breath out. Next, inhale, lift your left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hip. Think about lifting the left knee all the way up to the sky. Big side body stretch, big hip opener. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, keep the hip open, straighten the left leg. And then on your exhale, step left foot to outside of left hand. Turn the toes to face out slightly. Right knee will land, untuck the back toes, press the hips forward for your high lizard. Stay for the breath out. One of my favorite stretches, always feels so good. Getting an opening in the front of the right leg, the inside of the left leg, especially inner thigh, that's where I feel it a lot. Continue to reach the heart forward, sink the hips low and breathe into that sensation. Let's take a breath in. On your breath out, start to crawl your hands back on the inside of the left leg, straightening the left leg as you go. A couple times like that. Inhale forward into your lizard. Exhale back. <sighs> Diagonal half splits. A couple more times, moving on your own. One more. And then holding here, let's find a halfway lift in the spine. On your breath out, think about folding even deeper. Releasing the torso at the inside of the left leg. Left toes are flexed and tailbone is reaching up towards the sky. Shoulders are relaxed, face is relaxed. Beautiful. And then next inhale, start to crawl yourself forward, tucking the toes under, sending the hips high, three-legged dog, left knee stays a bend, and then a couple big circles in the left leg. And then switch the direction of those circles. And then lift the left leg all the way up to the sky. This time we're gonna step it forward in between the hands. Right knee will land. Inhale to press the hips forward. Low lunge, sweeping the arms up to the sky. Beautiful, stay for the breath out. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come through the heart center and then twist over to the left this time. Right elbow hooks at the left thigh. Press the hands to the heart, roll your left shoulder back. Feeling this twist. Back toes stay tucked for stability. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful, next inhale will come through center. Exhale this time, regular half splits. Push the hips back, hands on either side of the left leg. Inhale to find a halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold over. Think about reaching the crown of the head forward. Tailbone back. And 
And then inhale to find a halfway lift. Keep the right hand planted. Open the left arm to the left, finding your twist. Left shoulder stacks on top of right. Soft bend in the left knee. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then again, start to take those shoulder circles here. Opening up through the left shoulder. Keeping the torso and legs as is. And then switch the direction of those circles. Eventually landing the left hand down. Curl yourself forward. Step it back. High plank. Roll forward. Lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes. This time take the fingers a little bit wider than the mat. Come on to the fingertips. Palms are lifted. Press into the feet. Next inhale. Lift all the way up. Wide arm cobra. Exhale to lower. Two more. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift and stay. Exhale, dip your right shoulder down. Inhale through center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down. Inhale through center. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toe, or tuck the toes under rather. Press into the hands. Inhale. High plank. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, breathe out, let it go. Next, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale as many steps as you need to come to the top of the mat. Keep the feet about hips width. Take a deep bend to the knees, ragdoll, fold over your legs. You can sway your head side to side. Think about reaching the tailbone up to the sky. Maybe rock a little. Front to back, side to sides, whatever feels good here. You can always grab the block place underneath your hands. Maybe stillness is calling to you again. What do you need? Listen to your body. Maybe you straighten your legs inch by inch as the hamstrings open. And then gently release the fingers to the mat. Heel toe the feet together so that the big toes are touching. Next inhale, we'll roll all the way up to stand, sweeping the arms up at the top. And then exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Keep the chest as is, straighten the arms all the way behind you, interlacing the fingers. Inhale to puff the heart up. Exhale, bend into your knees as you fold over the legs and take the fingers forward, stretching the shoulders. Maybe rock the head side to side here. Letting the jaw release if you feel tension. Walking the heels of the hands closer together if you can, deepening the stretch. Keep breathing. And then gently release, hands all the way down to the ground. Let's find a halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Exhale to fold over the legs. Two more like that, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Last one, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale this time, plant your hands, step back. Chaturanga this time, only if you want it. Always the option to lower to the belly. Up dog. We meet in a down dog. Inhale to sweep your right leg to the sky, three-legged. Exhale, cross it. The top of the mat, pigeon pose. Untuck the back toes, coming down onto your right hip. You can keep a block underneath the forehead or you can take it underneath your right hip. Next inhale, we'll lift, spine straight, and then exhale to fold over your right leg. You can drop the head. Again, take a block if you need it. 
Keep the right toes flexed and active. Couple deep breaths here. Letting the shoulders soften, closing the eyes and really feeling the shape in the body today. One more breath here, deepest breath in, deepest breath out. On your next in-breath, press up onto your hands and then sweep your left leg forward. Right foot will be at the inside of the left leg. We'll find a little flow here. So we'll start with a side bend. Reach the left hand down towards the left foot as you sweep your right arm overhead, a big side body stretch. And then inhale to come up, plant the right hand, push the hips forward, circling the left arm by the ear. Side body stretch on the left. Again, lowering down, reaching over, lifting up, and then pressing the hips forward. Couple more times like that. Really opening the side bodies. More shoulder mobility, a little bit of heart opening. Last one. Beautiful. We'll hold it and find Janu Shirshasana. So both fingers, or both hands rather, reach towards the left foot. And then think about spinning the torso towards the, towards the left leg. Take a big breath in. Breath out to fold, dropping the head, reaching the crown of the head forward. Tailbone high. Big stretch for the right side. Right side of the back. One more breath, deep breath in, deep breath out. Next inhale, bring your spine back up to neutral and then cross your left leg over your right so that we're in Gomukhasana. Feet come out to the sides. And think about stacking the knees one on top of the other. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. You could be here, and that's perfectly okay. Lock is always handy. You could place it underneath the bottom knee. Then reach the fingers up towards the sky. Bend your right elbow. Take your left hand onto your right elbow, and then pull your right elbow towards the middle of the body. Big tricep stretch. Option to stay here or reach the left arm down and around, interlace with the fingers. Push the head back into the right forearm. Maybe close the eyes. Maybe find a fold over the legs. Stretching the outsides of the hips here. And then inhale to come back up. Release the fingers. You can use the hand to help take the left leg back out. We're gonna come out the same way we came in. So finding the way back to pigeon, planting the hand, stepping back, downward facing dog, or however you get back to down dog is perfect. Inhale to take the left leg to the sky once you arrive and then cross it for pigeon. Come down onto your left hip, untuck your right toes. Inhale to lengthen the spine to start and then exhale over your left leg. Letting the head rest either on the hands or a block or the floor. Keep the left toes flexed. Right toes are reaching right behind you, so in line with the right hip. Letting the shoulders relax. Feeling the shape in the body. And 
And again, letting go of expectation of how you should feel in this moment of the perfect image of a pose. And simply honor your body where it is today. No need to change it. It is perfect exactly how it is. And then on an in-breath, we'll come all the way back up. This time, the left foot goes to the right inner thigh. So either sweeping it forward or just turning around like I did. And then reach the right hand towards the right foot as you stretch the left arm by the ear. And then come back up on a breath in. Plant the left hand, push the hips forward, sweep the right arm by the ear. Couple more. Reaching for the right foot. And then lifting and pressing forward. Last one. And then we'll hang out in Janu Shirshasana. Reach the fingers towards the foot and then fold over your right leg. This pose does mean head to knee pose, but if you're not even close, that's okay. Think about turning the torso towards the leg so that you're sort of in a side bend still and stretching the left side of the back. And then let the head release, but keep it reaching forward so spine is long. One more breath here. And then on your in-breath, we'll come all the way up. Cross the right leg over the left this time. Final shape, Gomukhasana. Right knee on top of left, and then the feet go wide. Flex the toes, reach the arms up to the sky. And then this time, bend your left elbow. Take it towards the midline of the body. Option to stay there, or reach the right arm down and around, taking hold with the fingers. One side is always harder than the other. For me, it's this one. And then push the head back into the forearm. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath in. Option to fold over your legs. Letting the head drop, maybe deepening the stretch in the hips. Use an in-breath to come all the way back up, releasing the fingers. This time you're going to help the right leg off of the left and grab your block. We're gonna come all the way down to the back body. Step the feet in. We'll start with a supported bridge. So block goes underneath the sacrum at any height that feels comfortable for you and your body. So feet are planted, knees are in line with the hips, arms go by the sides, close the eyes down, and then let yourself sort of relax into the shape. Maybe a little release in the lumbar spine. We're also getting a gentle opening in the front body. Continue to breathe intentionally, consciously, and deeply. But again, that deep Ness can be whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be the deepest breath you've ever taken, but simply making it deep for this moment. And then option to stay right here, or we can come to you can come to waterfall as an option. So knees will pull into the chest. Maybe you stay here, maybe you straighten the legs up towards the sky. You can point and flex the toes a few times. Maybe make some circles with the feet, the ankles. And 
Eventually landing in stillness, we'll just take a few breaths with the legs lifted, reversing the flow of gravity. So, so good for many systems of the body, digestive, circulatory, nervous system. And then gently draw the knees back into the chest. Step the feet back down. Gently lifting up off of your block, lowering all the way down to your back, taking your feet together, knees wide, a Supta Konasana. Option to stay here for your Shavasana or stretch the legs long. We'll be here for just a minute or so. Closing the eyes down, letting the shoulders rest taking any final adjustments that you need in your body in order to find a restful shape. Again, feeling the rise and fall of the belly and letting go of that conscious breathing, feeling the body take back over that function. Letting the breath flow without the need to micromanage what it feels like. And simply experience it for what it is in this moment. the option to stay longer in this shape you can pause the video if you are ready to come back out to start with a couple of deep breaths breathing in letting the belly expand and letting it go in your breath out Eventually, full body stretch, maybe reaching the fingers behind you, toes towards the front of the mat. Roll onto one side, press yourself up into a seat, keep the eyes closed. Take the hands to the heart, sit up nice and tall. Final moment to simply be here with yourself in your body, on your mat. Can you come back to that feeling of gratitude? For anything that comes up in this moment, but especially for your body, for your health, for being able to take time to get on your mat and do something for you today. Let's take a big breath in, hold for a moment at the top, sip in a little bit more, and together let it go. <sighs> Throw the hands to the forehead. Together we say namaste. Awesome work today. I hope you love this class. Please, please let me know if you did in the comments. As always, give it a like, subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.